I wasn't very good with numbers in high school, but I did know all about pi. It was that 3.14 number that goes on and on and on forever. Many people from around southwestern Connecticut have come here to Western Connecticut State University for a free dental clinic. The video we saw is very dramatic. A man waving a big gun on a mission to get every cent from the register. The incidents may just be related. Whatever the case, the man is lucky to be alive tonight. And these workers worry that if payment isn't made, their coverage will lapse and they will lose their benefits. The promenade at Chestnut Ridge is normally a home to seniors, but last month it morphed into a dance floor where residents got a chance to strut their stuff to a well-known song. What's it called? Now the name of the song is Budapest by George Ezra. George Ezra. Never heard of him. Well, he's pretty popular, and thanks to a music video that has gone viral, a lot of people at Promenade Senior Living are very popular as well. This video has gotten more than 150,000 hits on YouTube, and it was all made thanks to a little inside help. So my good friend over at Columbia Records saw the ice bucket challenge we did here with our residents, and they all loved it, and they wanted to do the follow-up video here with the residents. The video was heartwarming and allowed the residents to have a little unbridled joy. I love the sound of it. I loved his voice, and I wanted to get up and dance. Oh, I loved it. I dance this way. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dancing. 90-year-old Marty Fight emerged as one of the stars of the video certainly knew how to act like one. Am I going to be on television? I have you on TV. Tell me where you came up with those dance moves. My house in Budapest, my came down here and all of a sudden my feet start going crazy. Golden grand piano. YouTube sensations today? Who knows? Maybe dancing with the stars tomorrow. In Chestnut Ridge, Paul Devlin, News 12. Just before 11 a.m. on Tuesday, the young lives of four Goshen High School students learning to drive intersected with a person behind the wheel of a tractor trailer, filling the air with sadness and sorrow. One was pronounced DOA at the scene. Uh, one was transported to St. Anthony's Hospital where he was pronounced dead. According to officials, the two students who died were about to enter their junior and senior year, and one of them was a football player. All four students had just left the Goshen School District office, taking part in the driver's ed course. Police tell us the tractor trailer was traveling westbound on County 1 when it approached this intersection with the blinking yellow light. There are stop signs on both sides of the street. The car carrying the high school students and their driving instructor tried to make a left-hand turn onto County 1, and that's where there was a collision. Police and residents say this is one of the most dangerous intersections in the area. It's so, so sad, and, uh, you know, it's been a bad intersection for many years. Pleas to the county to install a stoplight have gone unanswered. We've asked for it many times, and uh, at this point, there hasn't been one installed. Paul Devlin, News 12. Hi. Never end. Here a pie, there a pie. Yeah, one apple, please. Everywhere a pie. I love math, and I also love pie. And the Westport Library was the place to be for that. Today is pie day. Oh, but it's not just any old pie day. Three, two, one! It is officially pie day. At 9.26 and 53 seconds this morning, it became pie day of the century. That's right. Pi, which is 3.14, 3.14 followed by 15, 9, 26, and 53 makes it the only time in the next 100 years the numbers of pi will run like that. But really, what the heck is pi anyway? Pi is this magical, mysterious number that uh, mathematicians have have used in lots of different ways for a long time. And how is pi employed? It's used in circles. It's used in a lot of calculations involving circles and area. Wow, this pi thing is pretty cool. What else do I need to know about it? At one point, it's got every single person's phone number in the whole world right next to each other. Seriously, you mean to tell me that if I looked long and hard enough, I can find this guy's number? Thank you for watching News 12 Connecticut. I'm Tom Appleby. Whoa, that's some pretty heavy stuff about pi. And you know what else is pretty cool? It's Albert Einstein's birthday today. Yes, good old Albert would have been 136 years old on Pi Day. Man, that is big. Noel, let me be the first to wish you a happy Pi Day. In the newsroom, Paul Devlin, News 12 Connecticut.